chainsaw man hello uh i i come to you descending from my throne of unemployment and depression <laughs> to, br- to bring you a chainsaw man review still don't have a job and this shit's tough man when you've done the same thing for five years and then you get laid off like out of nowhere Ooh. but anyway that's kind of why we've been taking a big break i've just been like uber depressed and all i can think about all day is like putting in applications and ugh, it's awful anyway but uh i'm doing okay <laughs> i just got my first chunk of unemployment money today so i'm not super poor anymore so that feels a little better but um that's been my life it all goes to your apartment complex <laughs> well you know i have very cheap rent that's that's the one we, we chose is like the basically the smallest cheapest apartment we could find so like actually believe it or not not all of it will i will have some for other for for like food and bills and such and i have a mom <laughs> that is decent my a mom and dad that are decent I, i'm gonna be fine money wise the stress is mostly in finding another job so I'm not being a leech, but but I will be okay because I, I have a family that has money and Allie is doing really well. So we, I I'm not in I'm not gonna lose my house or anything, but uh yeah. it's just stressful. <laughs> I I haven't had enough free time to spend much money, so my bank account looks pretty good for the first time in a while. So <laughs> that, that's the, the the trifecta. You either get you, you have time but no money. What is it? Time, money, and social like friends. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you you you, you got to choose one to not have. Yep. Um, I, I, I have offered to film the last two weeks, so I'm no, putting no, no. that out there. It's totally on me. I, I just really needed to, I, I just wasn't in the mental place to do it, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm doing and I, I fully understand that, man. Yeah. Uh, and I, I did really, and, and, you know, luckily for us, <laughs> Fujimoto has been, uh, on his, you know, see, I don't want to make fun too much. I know you were mad about the, you know, he, he, two week break, puts out a chapter that takes 30 seconds to read two week break again. But, like, um, part of me wants to be, like, I think as we go forward, the new model to kind of look at manga chapters, I, I try to look at them kind of like a webcomic, right? And, like, when you read a webcomic, some webcomics put put out, like, a page a week. Or some will just kind of, like, update when they feel like it, right? And I feel like that is, you know, as much as we want our content, that's probably better for the mental health of the artists. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not denying that. It's just <laughs> frustrating as shit when the chess piece moves a space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his pacing isn't... I mean, it'd be one thing if it was, like, Oda pacing, right? Like, if we got 19 chapters in the story... Because Oda, he puts so much in his pages that, like, it feels like the story really moves when you get a chapter. Right. Whereas, like... Yeah. But um, these were pretty good chapters. I actually enjoyed all of these last three ones. Um, And we're going to try to discuss them as... As one big chapter. No yeah, I, I'm order. on a I'm on a bit of a time crunch today, uh, so we're going to do this a little bit differently. Can you do we're, an hour. I can do an hour, so maybe can, an hour and a half. That's we can make that. It's not going to be longer than that, I assure you. Okay, so starting with 148. Here we go. Um, I am super. Go to 148, Vex. I know I'm you, on it. You ass visual learner. Um, Oh, oh I, I, fuck one, you! <laughs> while he's getting, while they're getting to chapter one forty eight, I need one. I need to point out one more thing. Um, uh-huh. If you're curious what the image for today is, it's a hot dog. I'm not gonna spell out you. why it's a hot dog, but it is I a hate hot dog. You. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that is one hot crispy dog. Uh, <laughs> bark, bark. Oh dear God. Um, I, what, what would I what would I do for a hot cat? Why does a hot cat not exist? That, there should be a food item called a hot cat. I, I, I feel that is when Shion gets on the stove while I'm baking and then just immediately realizes she done fucked up. <laughs> it's when a cat's in heat and they're rubbing their fucking little cat pussy all over the carpet. I had to deal with that two nights ago. Please don't remind me well, of I that. I haven't gotten that fucker fixed yet. You told me a year ago you were going to get that fucker fixed. <laughs> It helps when the male cat in the house is neutered, so, so I all just they have can to do, do is it. be like, "Please fuck me," and the cat's like, "No, I have no desire to fuck you." <laughs> is that what she owned? On? My balls, my balls are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The male cat is li- literally doing the Futurama, like the 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 mind is willing, but the body is unable. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's wild. He's just like me for real. For mm-hmm. imagine being d- so down for dick. Like knowing that, because cat dicks don't they like rip apart the the cat the cat pussy? Like they got like barbs or something. Yeah, something like that. So imagine being so down for di- that's why cat girls are are peak because cat girls that the, they're they're modeled after cats who go into heat who are so desperate for dick that they're okay that even if it'll permanently damage them. <laughs> yeah. 
We need we need scientifically, you know, engineered cat girls. Wasn't okay. Elon going to work on that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Elon's been working on the Cybertruck since we were in college, Red. Bro, see, I don't yeah, have that, faith in him. Now I know. Now I know. I remember back when Elon had this, like, there was this perception of Elon that he was, like, a Tony Stark. But now I know. Because have, have you read about all, how, how his, like, monkey brain chips are doing? They're, like, fucking killing the monkeys and shit. It's like. You know what? I. Uh, I might get one just to see You're, if it kills me. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> no, I am not putting a thing that that man has anything to do with into my body. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So. Um. Uh, okay. So in 148, fucking Asa makes the the room sword, and I yep. was so happy about like this actually because you know Chainsaw Man. It's been kind of. It's been good, but it hasn't been hitting the heights that I've been hoping for it to hit. A lot of that's pacing. A lot of that, like, I, I'm also, and people are noticing this, too. I've seen people, like, comparing, like, the artwork from, like, part one and part two, as well as the artwork from, like, early part two to now part two. Mm-hmm. Um, it does seem like Fujimoto is either getting very tired or maybe, I mean, this happens, you know, he's a human. You know, I, I think, honestly, I think Fujimoto, he, if, he, if it would make him feel better, he should just take, like, a month or two break, you know, and just, like, go on vacation or something. <coughs> but, like, people have been kind of theorizing that maybe he's, like, getting a little, like, worn out of it. But, like, this chapter 148, it kind of felt like a return to form to me because, like, yeah. this, this page with her, her fucking sword, the room sword, is so sexy looking. Uh, Page 12 on 148. Yep. on it. Love it. it. I love it. You, you see, like, an air conditioning unit, Um, you know, a, a fan. You see, like, uh, you know, like, like a, a, a cord from, like, yeah. something. I'm trying to think what else I'm seeing in here. Um, it's just very cool. I, I, I love You see the, the tentacle in the background where she just ripped fucking poor Yoshida's tentacle arm off. It's a you great know, it... piece of design. It's, like, peak him. Oh, and then there's, like, leaves, which I you, you assume is, like, a house plant probably that she had. Um, you know, I, I just, that's so cool. It's, it's definitely, like, because, like, I, I went back and, like, I got volume 12 when this was out and like volume 13 just arrived at my doorstep like 10 minutes before we recorded. Um, And I looked at like the early part, part two art in there. I'm like, wait, no, like this, the arguments on Twitter are like really pointing out some flaws here. And Fujimoto had put out like um, an interview, like he'd like to rather write than draw. Yep. It's all kind of coming together, right? His art, yeah. it's not bad by any means, but it is, it was better earlier. And, and like yeah. all of his, like, like, like now he's saying the Togashi shit where he's like, man, I really would rather just write. And let, so, I mean, like, I hope he, I don't know, man, like I, I'm worried we're going to see another Togashi here. He's going down the path. And like, I feel like that happens to like normal people, right? Like the, it's only mm-hmm. the people that are insane, like Oda, who can just like keep up this work ethic forever as it's like literally killing them. Um, yeah, oh I mean, yeah, if for it sure. Wor- if it works for Fujimoto, I don't care if he puts out two two chapters a month. You know, we'll we'll find another manga to to review in the meantime if if we we need content. You know, but like yeah, I, I mean, Sakamoto days is right fucking there, Red. <sighs> I'll have to try. Uh, what have I been reading lately? Have you ever, dude? <laughs> you know, t- tangent time. Have you heard of uh the one hundred girlfriends that really, 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 really love you? Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks to Luke. Um, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Okay, so you know that thing I like to do where I just, like, find a random fucking, a random anime on Crunchyroll and watch it? It's actually, actually, as, as like, comedy romance harem goes, peak. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I agree. I, I was watching it, and now I kind of want to binge it. I did the same with Fe- Freyren. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I watched a couple of those. Um, animation, God Tier, oh, binge yeah. the shit out of the manga. Um I did the same, like, when we went and saw, like, Turtles uh, a couple months yeah, ago. Yeah, I was yeah. doing uh, ZOM 100 because it went on, like, indefinite hiatus, and now they're putting out the last three around Christmas time. Fucking uh, – oh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say with 100 Girlfriends. So, yeah, it's got... – the concept, for anyone who doesn't know, is uh, he's destined to have 100 soulmates. Like, literally, the god of love is, like, I fucked up. Usually people are supposed to have one soulmate. You have a hundred, and if you yeah. do, and if you don't date them, your hundred soulmates they'll, they'll 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 like die like like they ha- have to be with you. Otherwise, like the universe is wrong. So he has to date a hundred <laughs> women at once. Uh, so he's basically like it's the story of a man forming the biggest polycule of all time. And, yeah. and like what's great, and, and this is to me what separates it from other stories like it. Okay, he's not cringe. It's so rare. 
where uh, where uh, the male protagonist of a harem because like um I I, I remember I, I dipped into Rent a Girlfriend once just to kind of because you know again like I like to see like all right how how cringe is this Rent a Girlfriend the guy is like ew women ew. you know he's he's like incelly and I it's been a while since I watched it but he's I just remember you know he's just bitching about trust me as play. somebody that suffered through that series you did not miss much <laughs> yeah it looked awful but the the, the main character of Rent a Girlfriend he's like actually super sweet and that's always my main complaint with these horror anime the, the, like a guy will get like 70 girlfriends and not deserve it at all but this guy yeah is looking nice. at you kirito <laughs> exactly but this guy in 100 girlfriends he's nice he's sweet and he's putting in the work and he knows mm. that like it's kind of an unfair thing to ask these girls to like date to, to be in like a polycule with like all these other women and he but he's like I will do it. I'll push past my limits. And I'll give all of you the love you deserve. If you ever feel like I'm not loving you enough, you tell me, and I will correct it. Yeah, he's so he's running between all these girls, and he's like, dude, I, it's it's actually it's really cute. Um, I'm at like chapter like 35 of that. I've been really enjoying because because the anime's yeah. only got like eight episodes. Um, yeah, it's fun. it's definitely it's definitely worth the watch. It's it, it's like me when I build my commune out in the middle of nowhere for my polycule. <laughs> Bro, it's 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 the dream, bro. <laughs> that that's a, that's why it's so cute because like it's such a flex when he like when he walks up when, when him and his girlfriends go on a date because where I'm at now he's got nine girlfriends. <laughs> and so like when he goes on a date to like the water park or the amusement park or whatever, it's like him and these nine girls all around his shoulders and like weird you know like there's one part in uh where like some weird guys come up and it's like they're like hitting on the girls and he's like these are my girlfriends he's, and he's like they are not all your girlfriends you motherfucker and then he's like all right and he's like yeah they are and he's like all right prove it kiss all of them then and then he and then like he's like no i i, I don't want to be like that and then all the girls just like start fucking smooching him and it's just, it really is the male fantasy truly yeah it really is <laughs> this is this is what gamergate bullshit was warning you <laughs> Oh, no, the funny. male gaze, right? I remember when, <laughs> when that Gamergate shit was happening, but I was not, like, my, my politics brain wasn't turned on at the time, so, like, I completely, it, like, went in one ear out the other. Like, I, I have a memory of that happening, but I just did not even know what was going on. <laughs> <sighs> oh, so, God. But anyway. Take me back to 2016 when life was a lot easier, man. <laughs> it's all about pre, pre-Harambe. That's the new BC and, and AD. It's pre-Harambe. It's like, uh... <laughs> oh god no like you realistically conspiracy theory time the world went to shit when that goddamn gorilla died we shifted into it. yeah 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 you know speaking <laughs> speaking of the of harambe i uh recently okay this is another we had so many conversations to have okay i was recently i made a joke to ali about the guy who fucked a mcchicken do you remember the guy fucking a mcchicken Yes. Okay. Yes. See, thank God. See, I know you. I knew you'd have my back on this because I. She had never heard of that, and she, she looked at me like I was crazy. And then I went to my other friends, and they they looked at me like I was crazy. And I was like, "Did I make this up? A man? No, fucking a no. That was a Reddit thing. That was a Reddit thing, dude. That's where I saw that shit. And oh. I'm like, the world has went to shit. We are fucking food so, now. Because that was around the time Harambe died. Yeah, it was like two weeks pre death of Harambe. I don't know if it was before or after. Someone in our, in the comments, I need you to search up <laughs> the McChicken fucking and tell me because I'm not. I don't want to derail this anymore. But a uh, a man definitely fucked a McChicken. You can you have my word on that. Um. Anyway, so I love this. I love that we're like actively seeing Asa and Yoru's uh, power growing here because like mm-hmm. there's a couple things we see how like they didn't even have to touch it they have like there's like range now she could just be like whoa you know and like look at something and yeah kind of like the Medusa from Doctor Stone like you you can like touch activate it and it'd be like blah 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 and then you can voice activate it and it'd be blah 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 blah, blah kind of thing right um, that's maybe kind I mean, of the I think I think more it's just to show that like. Her, all of her powers are getting like this. She's going up the skill tree, you know. Like if this is right. like a, a video game, right? Like now she right. can do it from range. And I think the more important thing. And at first, the, the way this was like, are you still on uh, 148? Yeah. So from pages 14 to 15, at first this part really confused me because like she's just standing there and then she bam, she's in the wall. But I, the only way that I can read this, and I think this is the intended purpose here, is that because again the idea is like. The whole planet is, like, warring now. Like, like you know, there's people, there's massive fights everywhere, right? So people are more scared of war. All of a sudden, people are like, oh, shit, a war might break out, right? So so her power is so massively increasing 
that I think she went to like lunge at him, but she jumped so like like you know you, we, like you go to lunge. I'm, I've seen this in other anime before too, where it's like oh I'm gonna go to run and then boom run into a wall. It's like oh my god I'm so much faster than I thought I was because I was wearing the weighted training or whatever, right? That's kind of what it felt like to me is she went to jump and she just jumped into the wall because she's so powerful now. Yeah, and well, Yoshida's I mean, there's like, a literal oh war God. going outside her apartment too, between the chainsaw man shit, and then That's you know, what I'm the... saying. I, I think, I think, not only is it around her, but all around the world. Like, like you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, we we heard that there was like stuff in Canada, stuff in China. So I mean, like, I I think this is like a, a massive worldwide um, uh, catastrophe, and, and like her power is like exponentially increasing. I, I mean, she's oh yeah, this. she falls off, she falls down, and then like. Ah, oh, it's so good. And also, Yoshida's dipping. I love that. Yoshida's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, I'm outmatched, even. Yeah. And uh, he went toe-to-toe with Kwame. He's like, nah, <laughs> bitch, I'm not fighting her. See, yeah, people brought that up. <clears throat> the fact that he's – that mean, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if Yoru has gotten, like – like, because it's hard to kind of scale, like, how big the power up, the power boost she's gotten is. Mm-hmm. But, like, it might be big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, definitely. It could be massive. And then I would not be shocked if it was because, like, the uh, everything that's going on right now in particular, you know, like, if this was even, like, two, three chapters before this, this face-off happened, I think you would have bothered to fight her, you know? Oh, yeah. But now, like, she's gotten so increasingly powerful because of Bareem and his bullshit. <laughs> um and we'll get to that motherfucker Speaking in a minute. Dream. He's he's the reason we got hot dogs. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> God damn. He, he so kindly provided the catering for today and brought us all these hot dogs. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, because of all the breams of scheming here, like, we have this massive power boost for Asa. I also think, like, maybe he didn't want to try to fight with Asa as well is another reason why we got what we got. <laughs> Um, it's like fuck. I might have overestimated. Uh, oh yeah, the- that's a great point. Yeah, because at the end he's like, huh, he's he's like trying to be all like, well, instead of killing Asa, I'll just kill your dog. That's a, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I'm not strong enough. <laughs> you don't even know what Asa's doing right now. Y- Yoru might be fucking like like <laughs> running through the fucking str- city streets like the Flash right now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> You don't mess with the fucking timeline, Asa. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, seriously. Oh god, it's Nick Cage. Um. Uh, anyway, so we see that you know they're they're burning bodies all over. The- so now I'm now I'm up at to one forty nine. That was really all I wanted to talk about. One forty eight. So we're in one forty nine, and one forty nine is interesting because one forty nine and one fifty kind of go more into like Denji's um mind state. Uh, and I you know I first I, first thing I need to talk about is. As I have been a hoper and a, and a dreamer for sexual assault, Chan, I've wanted her to do something. I was very disappointed with her in 149 um, because, I mean, she's had so many opportunities. And I've seen other people echo this sentiment too, right? She's had so many opportunities. All she keeps saying is like, I'll protect you, Denji. You don't got to do anything. I got you. And I keep thinking like, man, she must be really powerful. I want to see her actually, you know, she, we see this like flashback of her like really wanting to protect her and like, oh, I want to be your protector. And every opportunity she gets, she fucks up. She sucks ass. And, like, even in 150, she shoots a gun, and she brings people to shoot guns at Bareem. It's like, okay, that's all right, I guess. That's a little better. But in this in this chapter, dude, it's it's pathetic, bro. And I get it. It's Nayuta. It's one of the horsemen. Like, sure, you probably will. But it's just, it, it's not a good look for sexual assault, Chan. You know, she's really, for her to, you know, it's like, run. And there's no moment where she's like, no, I won't run. I'm going to protect her. She's like, okay. <laughs> but I guess she was going to get back up but i don't know man it's just not a good look not a good look for sexual right culture. right like she, she's been built up as like this badass and like we keep seeing her do nothing and you know it, it could just be like a, a false hope that she'd do something yada 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 but at the same time like i'm i'm starting to like not have any faith in her actually being able to stop dingy from you know turning back into chainsaw man at this point yeah that was uh, i mean i noticed that in the in the recent chapter in 150 when Whip Devil comes at the last second, I was, she she at first I thought she just died, but then I looked closely. It's like okay, no, she wasn't cut in half. That's just her her sexy little midriff making it look like she was cut in half. Yeah, um, I don't know. Not the midriff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keep your hands off the midriff, bitch. Um, 
I think next chapter is the last chance we have here. I, I really hope. Because if she doesn't do anything next chapter and Denji just goes into Chainsaw Man, then, like, I would honestly question Fujimoto's, like, ability to, like, I don't know, foreshadow a character. Because, like, her whole point <laughs> as a character, like, all she's been saying is, like, I'm here to be the person. I'm, like, assigned to you so you don't got to turn to Chainsaw Man. I'll be your protector. She's been a shit fucking bodyguard. She hasn't done shit. <laughs> so, like... She's uh, like the Secret Service. Yeah. What? No, they're good, aren't they? <laughs> well, Secret <laughs> Service, when it came to JFK, I guess, if that's what you're trying to say. Mm-hmm. Or, or you know, trying to prevent Trump from doing anything stupid. <laughs> well, that's not their job. They're just there to protect him. <laughs> that's uh, sir, I definitely advise you against maybe burying documents at your wife's grave on your private golf course. I remember that was actually it's funny you mention that i remember during the jan 6 trials there was a there was a thing where they were talking about because remember trump in his, all of his genius sarcasm um he he wanted to like walk with the jan sixers you remember that and yeah he was like mad that they wouldn't they wouldn't let him they like shuffled him into the car and he was he was super mad and like like trying to like lo- like lunge for one of the secret service guys from the fucking back of the car <laughs> so fucking stupid My man- i will just like uh, w- this is this is Secret Service's duty, like end it like the second he assaults them, and then they just like you know what it, it's for the good of the nation. Pop. Yeah, d- I doubt it. Unfortunately, it's probably more like the fucking the, the the British guards that just have to stand there and take it if they're getting their ass beat. Probably right. God. <clears throat> um. Well, actually, no, they don't stand there and take it. I've I've seen I've seen, if people get too close to them and do that, like <laughs> I've actually seen them hit motherfuckers. Um, yeah, it's always fun to watch him give them one of the fucking annoying tourists a good bop on the face, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, what was I going to say? All right, we got, we got sidetracked about Trump. Um, no, I mean, if I was, if I was that guy, I probably just would have gotten out, gotten out of the car just like, all right, let him do what he wants to do, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you know, but I guess uh, if you're the Secret Service guy that, that gets Trump killed, you're probably, like, it's probably Jover for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely Jover for you, unfortunately. <clears throat> But anyway, in this chapter, oh man, I'm having like allergies. My throat itches. Same. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> All right. Anyway, in this chapter, we have Nayuta. A little. She's got that dog in her, and by that I mean, of course, she's got that Makima in her still. Yeah. Because she tries really hard. To, and I'm not saying that literally. I'm just saying like when you are the the uh, embodiment of the concept of control. It might creep out every once in a while, and in this chapter, oh, she's absolutely, like, yeah. And in this chapter, she's like, "Hey, Denji, come on, man. Like, this kind of sucks. Like, you know, going to school kind of sucks. You know, like, like the society kind of sucks. Like, like, what are we doing, re- really, Denji? You and I are powerful enough. If we really wanted to, we could just like stand atop these humans. We could own all the dogs we want. We could have all the food we want. And it feels like like she's like baiting him into a character regression. It's like." Because it reminds me of, like, Denji in, in part one, where it's like, I know what'll make me happy. All the jam on the toast, and all the bitches on my dick, and all, you know what I mean? But, like... Oh, yeah! But you have, so you have Makima, or Makima, see, I almost did it. You have, you have, uh, Nayuta being like, come on, we could just own all the things. And as if owning a hundred dogs would make you happy. Like, it's such, it, it's such a weird idea of happiness right like like i think as a kid you think that like yeah if i just had all the money but like now i look at that and i'm like that would not make me like owning more shit is not gonna make me happy (laughs) you know what i mean no honestly i say as i downsize um exactly yeah you have to because i I, sometimes i have that like when i come back from a con and i've spent like a hundred dollars i'm just like and the the initial high of buying the shit has worn off i'm like uh and then i just feel guilty for buying it like where am i gonna put this shit (laughs) I've been doing pretty good though. I just sold all my I sold all my Naruto recently, so I got a whole yeah. new empty shelf to fill. Yeah, like where the promised Neverland once sat, now sits Fire Force. Um, a based and red pilled upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, um, it, it's it's nice to downsize a lot of the shit that you're not using anymore. I'm like, well, at least it's going to somebody who wants to read. Because they said like I wanted to read like what wasn't in the anime. I'm like, cool. Oh yeah, good you'll choice. you'll want. You'll want these volumes here to be where you start, you know? Um, it was literally made for anime, but instead it became a gacha game. I hope you have fun with it, you know? So I went to somebody that was at least going to appreciate it. 
Yeah, that, um, was, uh, <clears throat> that was me too with Naruto. I, I sold it to um, a mother of uh, and her daughter, her like high school age daughter, like was was just just getting into Naruto recently, and she was like, "Oh, she's gonna love this," and she was like keeping it a surprise, like like it was her Christmas gift, and that, that made me happy. Yeah, absolutely. I'd rather pass it on to another anime fan or a manga fan, you know, depending on what I'm selling. And right now, I got a bunch of extra band merch that I'm trying to offload that a couple companies sent me. I'm like, God damn it, please stop sending me things. Uh, I also just Googled um, how many, I thought there'd be more, but I, I Googled how many breeds of cat there are because she talks about how we can own a cat of every breed. Um, that's 73, apparently. Yeah, there's a so lot of different breeds. 73 cats and 100 dogs. That's Nayuta's dream. <laughs> That's fucking insane. She's st- bro, Makima's stinky, bro. Uh, <laughs> the stink. Uh, you know her fucking apartment smelled like wet dog. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, I'd still smash. You know, <laughs> if I'd smash if I had guarantee that she wasn't gonna like use me as like a a, a a meat soldier afterwards. Like like, are we just we're smashing with no. With no, like, what's the word I'm looking for here? This is a Tinder fuck, Rad. In this hypothetical scenario, I'm swiping on you, and we're meeting up. I don't up. see Makima smashing you without using you for something. I feel like the, the, she, she will only... She's using me for dick in this scenario. Oh, you, you wish, dude. Makima. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe I get from Makima is that it, like, like she'd be like, dick too small. Didn't come. <laughs> Makima is that meme of Raven telling Beast Boy to turn into a horse. <laughs> oh, God, no. Can we please have normal sex? No, turn into a horse. <laughs> <laughs> God, I had tried for years to purge that meme from my head. Ah! I like the idea of putting, putting like if I'm Beast Boy, <clears throat> putting my dick in her, and then while it's in there, turning it into a, turning into a horse dick. Like, <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Domain expansion. I think in real life you would just kill the woman, like like uh, not hentai logic. That uh, she would just die. <laughs> I have seen women take things that no. I didn't think they could take. I have too. I have too. But it would be the all at onceness of it. You know, like like I'm like like I with enough prep time. Yes, I have too. There's um you know I'm gonna shout out I'm gonna shout out on OnlyFans there I not that I pay for OnlyFans I watch her free clips on Twitter because I I, I refuse to pay for for porn <laughs> but um Starry Fawn have you ever watched yeah yeah you know exactly <laughs> what we're talking about <laughs> yes God bless inhuman uh, amounts of just taking unrealistic dick her thing is size kink she's talking about it like she ever since she watched like Lord of the Rings as like a as like a, a you know I'm just quoting her she said as like a young kid. She, she had these, like, fantasies of, like, getting dominated by, like, huge fucking, I don't even know what, orcs? I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the ring is. Um, yeah, orcs, or, uh, I, I've seen, I've seen her take, like, a fucking foot tall, like, tentacle dildo, man. Uh, it's, on, on Twitter, it, it, it's, like, absurd and, and like and, and, and you know what i like too on her shout out to cinnovator uh for making those dildos by the way on, on her twitter she's constantly like pushing back against the misinformation because a lot of people have this misinformation that like oh your pussy must be loose now but it's a muscle it like it heal you know it, mm-hmm. it returns and like even i you know you read enough hentai that like you see that plot point where it's like oh you pussy loose now that's not how that works no. You know what I mean? Like, because cause she's also got videos of her, like, fucking her, like, normal, average-sized boyfriend. And, like, she still, mm-hmm. it still feels good to her. And so, like, I've seen, I've seen, like, people comment, like, mm, oh, man, you, uh, you know, I don't know. Someone said some gross shit where it's like, man, if you had a baby, it'd be a real easy birth, wouldn't it? It'd just fall right out. And she's like, no, it would still be very painful because uh, it, that's not how that works. <laughs> um... But anyway, yeah, no, there is a video of Starry Fawn that is, like, inhuman. I mean, she's, like, using both of her hands to, like, just shove in this battering ram dildo into her <laughs> pussy. And, like, it's, like, thicker than her arm. Like, like <clears throat> I, I'm like, oh, God. And, like, unironically, that's one of the, it's so hot to me. Like, the fact that, like, like women are really incredible. Their bodies, it's uh, the shit they can take if, if, if mm-hmm. with enough uh, persistence. I show that shit to Allie, and she's like, I, I could never. I, I, and I'm like, no, but you could, though. I, I know you, you could. could. <laughs> uh... You don't believe. You, you don't believe in yourself. <laughs> Red, uh, are you saying you want to see your partner take a giant foot tall technical deal? <laughs> I kind of do, yeah. And now that I know that the pussy, it, it, it doesn't, it's not like it's going to ruin the pussy for my average white man dick. That, you know... <laughs> my average white man dick? <laughs> I'm going to clip this and send this to Allie. <laughs> well, hey, 
Wait, she knows. These are all conversations we've had. <laughs> I, I I will send you guys a Cinevator package of not that size toys. How about that? I think I, I want to start with fisting. Get the... <laughs> they may with... they may they make an uh, like um not animal but like monster style fucking fisting apparatuses. I saw. Um, I think it was at Spencer's. I saw like. Maybe it was like a dog dick or something. There was some degenerate shit back there. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> they have knots and shit. Uh, I've seen all sorts of um, weird shit. Like, my partner just bought, like, a fucking eight-inch tentacle dildo. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tying it back into Chainsaw Man, Makima definitely fucked her dogs. <laughs> uh, absolutely. I, I unfortunately agree with you there. All right. Because honestly, though, it makes sense. We actually that makes more sense than you think. Because her whole thing is that she's above humans. It, mm-hmm. It's like Cthulhu looking down at humans. And she talked about how humans to her were just like dogs. So if she's willing mm-hmm. to romance humans for shit, there's no. I I, I could see her because I could unironically see her looking. She's at, Whitney, Wisconsin, IRL. She's um, looking at puppies and humans at the, as at the same level of intelligence. So like, what's stopping her from? jerking a little dog dick off you know what i'm saying <laughs> insert clip of uh cartman's red rocket um Ew. anyway it's south <laughs> moving on uh um okay uh da, 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 da. okay yeah yeah and then she because and, and i love this from nayuta because she tries to do the like who care who cares if they die you're all i need and i'm all you need right like it, it and it's interesting to see to see it coming back out but then you can see how, like, um, Denji, Den- the way he's raised her is, like, pushing back, right? Like, it's mm-hmm. it's trying to come out, but it's, like, he's she's still reachable because of the way, he, like, like Kishibe was right. Like, the way he raised her, she's still, she's so much better than she would have been, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Yeah, like, um, she, like, one taps, uh, sexual assault Chan here, uh, well, six she, seven. she, she shoots the chain at her, sexual assault mm-hmm. Chan dodges it, and then gets an old lady behind her, and then she's, like, choking her out, and, and she was about to kill her, and I, I like that moment where, like, he's gotta tickle her, and, like, she will fucking kill you, you need to, you need to leave, she will kill you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you need to, like, fucking go, like, now, uh, And I Run. like that he kinda lays down the law, law here, where, like, finally... He gets her to be like, okay, fine, I won't kill humans, which is good. I'm glad that he got that rule from her. But this part's very cute, right? So first, I want to talk about, I don't know if you noticed, on page 14 of 149, Denji, he starts saying, but what about my, what about your friends, right? And in that moment, he realizes that he doesn't have friends, and that's so sad. Yeah, I mean, well, everyone he gets close to either dies or uses him, like, Exactly, but like imagine like because even I, I was not a popular kid in high school, but even I had two or three friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Can you imagine going through high school with no friends? That like that's like what makes high school like fun. Without yeah. high, without friends, oh my god! Like what a nightmare existence. No, like it, it. I didn't have a lot of friends, and I still keep my circle small for the same reasons. Like you know, all you it, need it's, is one or two. Yeah. But, like, it, it's really depressing to think about, like, somebody his age going through high school or starting college without anybody, you know, besides, like, the literal embodiment of control. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he, he focuses too much on, he, he's got a, and I hope, I, I think we're kind of seeing the beginnings of this, but I, I hope he, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, de-latches her from him a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? She's got to be, I I don't know how you teach the embodiment of control to be a little less controlling, but is that is something he needs to do with her. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and then, of course, uh, the, the Asa Denji shippers, we, we get a, a true gift in this chapter where he's like, like, that's the one reason. Like, that's literally, like, the thing keeping him from agreeing with her and, like, hey, let's take over humanity. It's Asa. And it's like... Yep. That one kiss was the one kiss that I enjoyed, and and it, nothing hurt me, and and I, was like, I love that. And then of course Nayuta has to set the pecking order. It's like, okay, well, how much do you like her, and how much do you like me? All right, I'm, yeah. All right. As long as I, as long as you like me more, <laughs> it, it's probably the inverse there. But you know, well, eh. I don't know. I mean, 
because to me it's the it's the difference between familial love and like because like okay because you and I are I think I, I mean I don't know how you feel about this I think I do that I, maybe I maybe I know how you feel about this but like for me you know I think it's ridiculous to like love people based on like oh we're the same blood right but a lot of people have this weird shit about family where they're like family's always the most important right like like if you absolutely ask, fucking not <laughs> exactly but if you ask a lot of people like oh who do you love more like your mother or your your wife I feel like I feel like you'd get a good fifty percent that would be like oh, of course my mother she raised me you know what I mean. And those people are insane. Exactly. But I, I don't know. So I, it's hard if you to... value your family more than you value your partner, you don't belong in a relationship. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, because you've chosen – one you've chosen and one was just like – you were just – your spawn location. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but I, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I could believe Denji really meaning that. I mean it's clear that he looks at her like a daughter, right? And yeah. That, that's a big thing too. I know for a fact my mom loves me more than she loves her husband, which is one of the reasons why I was always very anti having a kid. Because it's like, I, I'm sorry if this, this is going to sound like douchey, but like, I want to be the person that my girlfriend loves the most, and I'm going to be the person, wait, and then she's going to be the person that I love the most. I don't yeah. want no fucking dumbass fucking kid taking the attention away from me. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm here to be loved. That fucking kid don't deserve shit. I, <laughs> <laughs> I scoped out. Okay. What's, I'm the, I, I fucking put in the work. I got the girl. What'd that kid do? Get shit out? <laughs> I, I can understand the logic between behind loving your kid the most. Like you're, it's somebody you're trying to impart your wisdom and your like uh, logic and values on, and let them grow into their own person as well. But like, you want to also like have the same amount of love for your partner you did from the day you got married or met to the day you gave birth to that fucking child, and you want to continue to, having. I'm sorry, I just got to witness my my poor father. Okay, is my fucking... Hold on a second. My OBS. Uh, there we go. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit because it... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, what the hell? Caveman grunt uh, time. Grunt. Bro, it's so random, bro. It's so weird. I don't understand OBS and why it's doing this shit. Okay. I, I hope that we're good now. How do I sound? You sound fine. All right, weird. We're going to hope. Uh, uh. <laughs> I have a fur baby uh, trying to open the door right now. Oh, yeah. So uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is me turning around. Okay, so for context, I have no idea how this sounds in the video. When I fucking turned on OBS, I was like peaking in the red until I went to like negative ten, and then now I noticed it wasn't doing it anymore. So now I've moved it back up to negative one point six, and it's just barely hitting the red. So I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> anyway. What were we talking about again? Oh, right. uh, you got to witness your poor dad do something. Uh, no, I mean, my poor dad, you know, he, I could just tell that, like, my mom, all of her attention went to me. And his ass, I don't think he felt very loved, you know? And I think a lot of it's because he didn't want to have a kid, and my mom did. So my mom kind of, like, did all of the kid raising. And my, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and my dad just didn't. I don't know. Yeah. I just. Yeah. No, like, it's similar with my. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My dad, my dad lost all of his fun little toys when I was born. Uh, and then all of the focus had to go to me. Um, and for what it's worth, they both tried to do good. Um, it's just clearly my mom always wanted a kid. And she was always told she wasn't able to have a kid. So when I was born you know everything went to me yeah. i was the focus to my own detriment at times well, um I, I just don't think that it's uh an, what's it called a coincidence that gay relationships tend to like do better than straight relationships i i genuinely <laughs> think that like having a kid is such a stressful like high responsibility thing that if you're not like perfect for each other it's going to be the thing that snaps you apart you know what i mean yeah, there's a reason, like, most straight relationships end in divorce. And Not most. It's about 50-50. Yeah. I, I'd wager that number is going up now post-pandemic, but we haven't got any, like, real results for – or any real numbers for that. Um, I guess what it like, – good. Because, like, you had to be at home for the most part, and you had to, you know, bear witness to, like, what your relationship had become um through all the stressors of work and everything mm. so i figure that, that number has probably statistically went up um and it's unfortunate too because like it's all the stressors of like both parents have that take an active parenting role if they had kids and all of that shit mm. and they're realizing like what the fuck am i doing 
my ideology uh, with this kind of thing <clears throat> has always been like the key, and I'm I think I can speak to this now because I'm I'm on like three plus years with Alien, and, and it's it's going great. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think that the the key to a good relationship is just treating it like a friendship. I've always said that, right? Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, you, it should be the same kind of vibes as like. I don't know, going over to, like, your best friend's house to have a sleepover, right? Except you're just living with them. But And once you once you have a kid, now you're not friends, you're coworkers. You know what yep. I mean? You have this job, this shared job that you have. Because, like, here's the thing. Me and Allie, we don't have a shared bank account. We never plan on having one. We have our yep. own bank account, our own money, and we just PayPal each other, like, our half of the bills. That way, we're, we don't feel, like, tethered to each other. You know what I mean? All Once you have a kid, you're so fucking tethered. You know what I mean? Yep. Like you feel you feel your like independence go away. You're, you're indiv- you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, your life is like raising this thing. You know, and yep. like you, you're you're not. I am not in a relationship for some altruistic fucking Jesus Christ sacrifice mode where I go like I'm gonna raise another child. No, bitch. I'm in a relationship because it's fun. It makes me happy. I don't look at Allie as like I don't know like a wife or girlfriend, whatever. I look at her as more as like a tag team partner in life. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. She's there to, A, so I don't get really lonely living alone. B, to, like, you know, help me when I'm down, and I help her when she's down, right? Yeah. And, like, when you no, have like... a kid, now you're base. it's less tag team partner in life. It's less I'm here to hang out with you and have fun, and it's more like, all right, we're clocking in at the job together, the 9 to 5. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it, it's not 9 to 5. It's a 24-hour It's forever to forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For 18 you're, years, you're changing. Goes. You're mm-hmm. changing diapers at 1 a.m. while you're just getting home from your fucking shitty 12-hour shift at the company town. You know. Oh yeah, and all that's not even to mention. You're right. Great, great point. Money. <laughs> the, mm. the, the, I didn't even bring that up. Yeah, if, yeah. If, with how jobs and the economy is today, fuck all that. Anyway. Yeah, I literally just bought one of my friends who just had a kid, um, like diapers and shit uh, oh, nice for their. You. Because they just got laid off from their job. I'm like, ah, well, beer, I'm financially stable enough to help you at least. And I fucking, I'm checking out at Meyer. I'm like, that was $70 for diapers and wet wipes. I'm like, motherfuck <clears throat> all Isn't of that. that. Up? That shit should be like, if not free, very cheap. Well, I guess that's what Wick yeah. is for, but yeah, I know Wick is yeah. in, in danger as well. Oh, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> but uh, here's what was Love that. Say. By Love the way. That for parents. Yeah, I know, right? Are you uh? What's what's the pros- progress of you moving in to your own place or whatever? Because I still do want to hang out with you once it's not like yeah. at your parents. So I my target is around March. I I cool. don't know how feasible that's going to be right now because I'm technically still labeled as a temp and I don't want to you know move. You want the consistency of your job before exactly yeah, yeah. right. I'm like I don't want to move and then be like oh now I'm job hunting again like because my 90 day temp period temp to hire would be like right around march mm-hmm. i'm like i don't want to be moving in and then be like hey now your contract's over kind of thing so i want to make sure i'm hired in full time at the current position and like i'm stable before i you know put my name on a lease again <laughs> you know no that makes sense yeah um yeah i just wanted yeah like, well, once we once we get to hang out i'm really excited to mm-hmm. you know get closer again as friends you know because we, we oh absolutely yeah it'd be, it'd be nice um, and I, and I, I want you to know, cause I know I've been slacking on like, cause, cause when you talked about buying, um, stuff for that friend, it, it made me feel guilty. Cause I've been slacking on like getting you like birthday gift, Christmas gift stuff. And it's mostly just beca- been because we, we never see each yeah. other in person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like but what, the, once... the last time, like was I con and then before that I was seeing the turtles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like, I do want to get you gifts and shit and like, cause like you, you, I, I want you to know just recently I wore that fucking don't bully me. I'll come shirt. I still love that. I think about that and I'm like, man, I feel bad. I need to get, him I wore and, that yeah. to work the other day. My, my version of that. And I got like, I got side eyed from a couple people. I had like almost everybody like, that's bold. I love that. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. I just grabbed the first shirt on my t-shirt. <laughs> I wore it to um to D and D. So <laughs> that's, that's fucking the perfect sim- situation to wear that. <laughs> oh, it was great because like someone someone had a, that moment where they were like like in the middle of like playing. It was like someone's like, I just realized what your shirt says. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Um, speaking of D and D, let me plug that we're going to be playing D and D on the main channel. Uh, the mods and I. It's my first time playing D and D, so watch us suck. I'm gonna <laughs> check the vibes of it. I need because to me, so much of if it's good is if the D- DM is good. 
if if I if I check the vibes and I like it, I would be cool with like coming in as like a like a guest it, character for one episode yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I got two extra slots in the in the like text chat for like people if they want to join in the future as well. I, I could I, be like a one-off villain that you have to fight. You know, I could come in and yeah, be like, "Oh shit, it's red." <laughs> It's red, and he's got the deep gravelly voice. It'd, it'd be fun to keep that secret from everybody else, and then like I, I just come in, and they're like, "Oh fuck!" That'd be funny. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Um, of course, like a lot of our audience also is in the server, and we'll view this video. Um, oh, that's true. Like, yeah, I can't. I can't keep you that. can't really, can't really keep that a secret there, <laughs> unless you want to edit that out. Damn, nah, um, it's whatever. I, well, they won't know what episode it'll be if ever. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's like, oh, I got today off, and uh, you guys are filming that, so I can pop in and be the villain. <laughs> All right, we got one last chapter to talk about, and it is the hot dog chapter. Fuck you! <laughs> Crispy. And one cat. Oh, dude, I, I think one thing that we haven't discussed enough, unless, unless maybe, it's possible, maybe, maybe Meowie escaped, but Power's cat might be dead, y'all. Yeah, oh, shit, you're right. It's fucked up. Power in, in fucking hell is like, she, she can... She, even though she's like a totally new power, she's like she got a little twinge. Like something's wrong. Something happened. This is a disturbance of the force, and it's not my smelly panties. No, no. I I hope power because power's got to be slightly different, right? I I hope she's like similar but different. You know, I want her to like like a I doctor hope she's regeneration. Not... I hope she's not like a stinky girl now. I want her to be smart power. Like remember when when she was like pretending to be yeah. smart? I want her to be that, but unironically. <laughs> yeah, I I sense the disturbance of the force, and it must be. My predecessor's cat. She's like died. adjusting glasses, and they're like, "Where'd you get a pair of glasses in hell?" I was born with them. And why are they not broken? Oh, it's like it's, it's like fucking a spot on number eight from Bleach, where his glasses was his fucking hollow mask. God, never forget. Why was Bleach's character design so peak? I mean, that was Kubo's skill, man. You know, sometimes, sometimes you. You know, I mean, like that. I, I feel like he, as an artist, he was always so talented. You know, and it makes sense that he wanted to go into design too. I hope he does eventually. Uh, I want to see his clothes that he designs. I would unironically rock some Kubo. I would too. Um. So in in chapter one fifty, I really like this part where because this always, I mean, this this is something that I felt during COVID. Um. Nayuta's like. Oh, it's, it's surprisingly ordinary day, you know, like there's people cleaning up bodies in the background, but everyone's going to work still and everyone's going to sin. I'm probably have school tomorrow still. And I'm like, man, I felt that way during fucking COVID during the riot. Like um, we lived in Grand Rapids. We live in Grand Rapids. Uh, it's the second largest city in Michigan. And um, mid 2020, we had a we had our own little version of the, the kind of riots that were going around. It wasn't super crazy enough. I think there was a car or two that went on fire. People were setting off fireworks in the middle of the city. It was pretty intense. But I remember when that was happening, I asked my, my boss, I was like, hey, that's like my route. I like drive through there to get to work. And, and it's like, you know, like where I worked at the time was like five minutes out from where people were rioting and breaking windows and setting cars on fire. And I was like, do I still have to come to work tomorrow? And they're like, yeah, just, just use a different route. I'm like, fucking God damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, w I was working uh 12 hour days. Um, luckily my work was away from that, but they, they had like GRPD and like the, the like local police. Uh, that was, I don't know if you remember, they also, that they, they called out the national guard. To, uh, to, yeah. a, to a bunch of different because uh, I remember seeing uh, National Guard trucks and shit yeah no like um, but they they brought them in to like barricade my workplace like, or like not barricade but like oh right because you probably it. worked at a place with like a bunch of lootable shit didn't you yeah I did yeah. Uh, yeah. it was uh, interesting times and I was like yeah, I realized like somebody could just take their truck and plow this door down it ain't gonna stop shit <laughs> Well, I mean, if they did that, they'd probably get popped in the head immediately afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think they'd pop him in the head. Maybe the leg. I would hope they would pop him in the leg because police bitch was really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, I I love this moment, especially for me. Like this this hit because this is kind of how I've been feeling, right? You know, I'm just about to hit. I'm I'm about a half a year away from hitting thirty. Um, you Welcome know, and, hell. yeah, no, don't say that. I don't like, oh, hold on. The, see, now it's OBS cannot decide what temperature or temperature, what level it wants my volume to be at. Yeah. God, I hope this isn't ass when I'm checking it. Anyway, um, OB, 
what was I saying? Oh yeah, I know. I want to say I don't like the stereotype of like you're in your 30s, it's immediately going to be bad, right? I think a lot of that's perception. A lot of the, you know, lot, unfortunately there is. No, this no, no, no. Like I, I'm not saying it's like the years themselves suck. Is the years can be great. I'm saying like it's your body is going to start feeling everything fully. Oh, um, I do, I do feel that, but I also feel you're also a giant man, so I figure it probably hit like right around the 26 mark well, too. <laughs> you know, I also feel like a lot of it. Um, there are ways to get around that, and I think people, you know, I mean, your ass is drinking 30 energy drinks a day. If you didn't do that, what? you'd feel a lot better. No, <laughs> absolutely not. I'm not on my third today, and it's I've been awake an hour, Red. So here's an example of, of things that I do to make myself feel better. Uh, um, I Did I tell you about – this sounds so much like a sponsor, but it actually really does work for me. Uh, did I tell you about um, Huel? Like I, I, I got – I got like – I signed up for like – the Huel subscription. It's like a, basically like meal replacement shakes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like um, the team four star and game rumps. Um, oh, do they talk about that? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So um, genuinely not a sponsor. Genuinely. Um, I, but I, I, as if they'd sponsor our 300 view at max videos, but um, no, I mean like I, I did that because I started to realize, and this is something that I pray that you, if you're feeling like chronic pain, look into this, not just Huel, but this concept a lot of chronic pain is caused from inflammation, inflammation oh, of the yeah. joints, the muscles, yada, yada. And a lot of inflammation is caused mm -hmm. by what you eat. It's, yeah. it's, it's so real. And so like, I think so many people go through not realizing that like, Oh, you, I think a lot of people think, Oh, if I eat a cheeseburger, if I eat a French fries, that's not going to make me hurt. Yeah. That's just going to make me fat. Right. But no, no, it's all, it's going to affect everything in your body. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. When you eat like really salty, high fat, fatty fried foods, your whole mm -hmm. body swells up slightly to try to like expel that. And while that's swelling up, that's when your joints are hurting the worst. That's when, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So like I got, um, when I was still had the fucking job that I had, which was like super high physicality, <sighs> I got these like really, really healthy meal replacement shakes that were like just like super healthy. They were plant based. They were like super low sugar, super low carb basically just protein plant yeah vegan it was like really healthy shit for you and i just drank one of those in the morning and i felt great the whole day i mean it was genuinely yeah. that simple you know there's so yeah, many little like, things you can do to like not feel like shit i assure you no i did meal yeah. replacement for a while um it just was so expensive uh between jobs as well uh he wasn't definitely... that expensive okay so so i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you off um do you want to finish what you're saying yeah i should get back on that uh a little bit because like i tend to forget to eat quite a bit yeah um yeah. So, like, especially working 12-hour days again right now, um, it, it's like, wake up, go to work, wake up, go to work. I'm on 60-hour a week, so, yeah. I couldn't do it. No. Uh, the, the bank account looked great, um, and bank account looking great means I'm closer to top surgery, so that's also great for me. Um, but, uh, no, let's... It's very – it's shitty, right? Because, like, you really don't have a life doing that. So you tend to become, like, in a time loop of, like, fuck. Where the fuck is anything? You know, what day is it? Do mm -hmm. I clock in today? Do I rest today kind of thing? Um, so, um, like, that's definitely something I should probably get again because I can just take the shaker with me well, and fuck yeah, off. Yeah, I was, I was going to say the one that I have, it's, like – it's not like the actual ones that are like trying to be actual like food. It's it's basically just like a, a like a slop shake, and it doesn't. It, oh yeah. It, it doesn't taste great, but it doesn't taste horrible either. It's just like yeah. it tastes like a gritty chocolate shake, right? But like, oh yeah, absolutely. To it's me, it's like it's like it's for those moments where you don't want to eat. You're not feeling like eating, but like when you have it, you'll feel full for like half the day, and it's like a good full. It doesn't feel like you've eaten like a burger. It feels like you had like a bunch of veggies, you know, and you feel yeah. really energized. I, I God, this sounds like a sponsor, but I just mean like it really isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just love I just it made me feel so much better like physically. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? I I understand. Like yeah. um cuz like at one point in my life I was a lot more physical and I did like Muay Thai and shit like that and you know, I did like the whole pre-workout, the protein powder, all that shit. So like I'm used to that chalky ass taste as well. Well, yeah, and the thing uh, the nice thing about Huel too is it's not trying to be like pre-workout. It's not even trying to be a protein shake. It's actually trying to be like a meal replacement. As in right. like, it has like all the vitamins and minerals you need. Like theoretically, exactly. you could you could have nothing but that for a month and and you'd you'd be fine. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not like 
but I don't think you should just have protein shakes or, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want to live off of protein shakes, but this is actually supposed to be like a full meal replacement. Anyway, I don't want to get too off topic here, but that, that helped me. I just want, yeah. I want to tell as many people as possible about that concept where it's like, if you're having oh, yeah. like chronic, chronic pain, it might be like, look into what you're eating. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, yeah. I definitely know like what part of mine is, um, pain wise. And I know like a lot of my, like now at least I know, um, finally like getting diagnoses, which is like a struggle because they try to go through all of the possibilities of it. Um, cause like two weeks ago I had a blood transfusion, which was honestly possibly more terrifying than going through chemo. <laughs> cause like I hate the concept of needles and I also hate the concept of like having someone else's blood inside of me because of like the inherent dangers of that. It's more, you know, regulated now than it was at one point. Um, I, uh, I go in tomorrow to get like my, my levels checked to see if that helped me. And I just needed the one, um, or if I need to get more, which will be annoying as shit Mm -hmm. for me. Um, but like I have a immuno based anemia, which is, it's, um, having COVID twice kind of wrecked my immune system worse than it already was. Um, I'm so happy. I, I, as far as I can tell, I never had it. Um, like it's, I'm so, I'm very lucky that I, like my job when COVID was like super strong, I was only around like two other people. So, like, oh yeah. Yeah. And I masked up all the time. Uh, yeah. I, um, I got it once um, from I, I'm guessing either a work or my ex uh, or and then the other time was like, well, I was on the road, unfortunately, like mm. one of the crew members got uh, got it and then spread it throughout a re- bunch of the rest of the crew, um, which sucks. But I mean, it, it happens, you know, in the times we're in now, um, I, I can't really fault anybody for it. Um in the, the regards to that, because my ex was working around kids. Um, oh, I then, remember who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And and then, um, like you know, just literally anybody that that person and the crew was around could have given it to them. You know, yeah, um, kids are a patriot dish of, of disease. Absolutely. Um, so, did we want to get back to Chainsaw Man? Uh, but yeah, no, like vitamins, meal replacement, those are all great things to help uh, build that up. But also, uh, I was going to say Google anti-inflammation or inflammatory, anti-inflammatory diet. And it goes into like the types of foods that you should be eating to like lower pain. Cause like, again, that was a huge thing for me. I I literally felt like I was going to die. I was, you know, I was like, oh my God, it's not even worth living if I'm going to be, have this much pain. But then there's so many things that like oh my God, that's just fixed it. You think it's like over for you. And then it's like, oh wait, that made it like way better. So yeah, never give up, look into solutions, you know? Um, Absolutely. But also speaking of things that you should never give up on, uh, being chainsaw man, apparently. Um, yeah, no. So I, like I said, I really enjoy this part where he's just kind of like having, he, he's coping. He's like, oh, I'm so, and it's nice to see Puchita again, you know, and I, I was wondering if this would come back because Puchita's whole thing was like, as long as you always follow your dreams, this is the deal. This is the contract we're making, but he's stagnate. Uh-huh. He's stagnating now. You know what I mean? And he's like, Oh wow, you're happy. You, you mm-hmm. followed you. You got your dreams. Okay. What's the next one? And then Denji's like next. And I, I like it. Cause he, he has stagnated, you know, and that's kind of where I'm, I, that's where I feel. I feel like I'm at that right now. I need to like have another goal again, like move forward in life again. You know, I was so happy in 2020 and 2021 because I was losing a bunch of weight. I was getting a girlfriend. I was moving out into my own apartment, but now yeah. I feel like I'm stuck again. I'm on pause, you know? Yeah. Um, and once I get a job again, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I've already set up um, an appointment a couple months out. I'm assuming I have a job by then. I'm going to start going to therapy again. So, yeah. and that's always helped me every time I've gone. So I'm, yeah. but anyway, I, I really resonated with that because that's kind of where I feel like I'm at. Yeah, in life. That, that's definitely like, if I feel that, like I, I kind of put out like my goals on Twitter and uh, I'm like, yeah, no, like my goal now is to focus a lot more on my music. And that's, that's where awesome. I'm like, after we're done filming this, I'm having an interview about that. <laughs> nice. What, what kind of interview? Uh, I'm on a um, like underground podcast with a couple of buddies of mine in the uh, local scene um, promoting my album that comes out next week. So, yeah. It's interesting that, that – that's really cool. It's interesting that um, – because like it's interesting how it's come full circle. Like in the beginning – 
it felt like Chainsaw... Because Chainsaw Man, like, being Chainsaw Man and what Makima did to him, it was really fucked up, but it did kind of, like, mm-hmm. open up the most happiness in his life. Because up until... It before, is. Before that, he was just, you know, going into a, a shed every day and eating br- a loaf of bread and, and like, eating cigarettes and, like, be, you know, just being a, a homeless kid on the street. And then even though he was being used and it was fucked up, being Chainsaw Man, it was change. It was different. And I think a lot of times... Right. Just the, just the act of, like, life being in flux and changing brings us happiness. You know what I mean? Because you feel like you're moving towards something. And then mm-hmm. he's stagnated again. And I think he's realized, even though there's dangers that come with it, even though it's yada, 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 he loves being that hero. It gives him joy. You know what I mean? And, like, I mean, we, we desperately want something to live for, people. You know what I mean? Like, I just think he, he wants to feel like he's, he's got a purpose. And we, just going to school is not doing that yeah he he kind of is living like the american way right now like he doesn't have a third place he's either at school at home or nothing His third place was being chainsaw man and now he doesn't have that yeah if you don't know we we should probably introduce that concept there's a concept called having a third place or a third place and it's uh it's about like if you're feeling depressed or you're really sad ask yourself do you have in your life have a third place that you regularly go to that isn't home or work slash home or school right a third place it could be a club a library um a coffee shop that you like meet up about with a bunch of friends a park that uh, it sounds so silly but that is unironically like a big thing for mental health and that's why i was like the happiest when i lived right next to a park and i would get home and i'd walk to the park because you don't want your life to just be work home work yep. home yeah so yeah yeah now you kind of like I, I pay for these 85 streaming services i should go home and watch something on them <laughs> and i sh- i uh i i honestly live at work right now so i pretty much don't have a second place <laughs> uh yeah but anyway so, uh, i know i i, I agree uh, that's a good thing, yeah. good thing to bring up because i feel like denji's third place was being chainsaw was man. being chainsaw man and, yeah. and, and it was and he doesn't have that anymore i mean that that was ripped away from him by this by the government and and you know and like so i think he's finally they took my third place yeah Sorry. yeah you know and like i and nayuta like that i think it gave himself worth too right i mean like him being chainsaw man is like you know having a girlfriend or or b- being the weight you want to be or matching the gender identity you want to have you know i feel like that gave him such self-worth he felt good about himself you know what i mean he felt confident and uh yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see. I think we might be in the great comeback era for Denji here. And, of course, we have Barim here like, ha, 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 I killed your pets. And then he gets shot up, which, I mean, thank God, Sexual Assault Man is doing something. Something. Um, and she's being smart, you know, they know how he transforms. So it's like, just keep shooting his, his, his head and hands so we can't fucking rip his tooth out. Um, yeah, no, like, that's so clever, though, like. I, I gotta give her props for doing something, literally anything other than trying to yeah. fuck Denji. Well, she's definitely uh, smart. I just want to see her be powerful. I'm hoping she has a contract. I want to see her fight like Aki or fight like Kobani, you know, when she, like, ran right. up the thing with a knife. That's what I want to see from her, but yeah. So, like, Barim being dead now. He's not I mean, dead. They're, don't you remember? They fucking, uh... <laughs> They, Dead they, as in the concept of, like, he's out of commission for the time being. I don't know if he is, man. Like, the whole thing with these fucking hybrids is they're immortal. I genuinely don't think he's out of commission. I think he'll be fine. <laughs> I want him to be, like, locked in a room, maybe a concrete prison, something away from my boy, and what might remain of anything that escaped. Well, I'll say, uh, I'm not sure why you think Barim is out of commission because all he did was get shot a couple times <laughs> because he didn't get cut in half. The The people that got cut in half were the people shooting him, the, the special division. And I want him to fucking suffer for burning the animals, Rad. I know, but he just got shot like three times. He'll be fine. <laughs> the only thing that those bullets were doing was stopping him from transforming. Now that, okay, but here's, here's, here's what we got now. Okay. All the randos that not all, but a lot of the randos that sexual assault Chan brought are dead. So it's going to be sexual assault Chan. And Denji. And For, Whip. Uh, Whip is not on their side. But, like, Whip is in here, so we got to deal with what, her, too. What I too. meant was people on this on our side. Or, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Denji, all we've got is Denji, okay, Nayuta. Denji, Nayuta, Sexual Assault Chan, and then they got, and we got Whip and Barim. 
So I'm curious how this is going to play out. I'm curious if Yoru is going to show up. I'm curious if we're going to have <laughs> one more moment. Because I feel like if there is going to be a moment for Sexual Assault Chan to actually do something really cool, it will be next chapter where it's where like Denji's about to fucking pull the cord. And she's like, wait, I got this. And, uh, that'd be cool. I don't know if we'll see it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the, I, I don't have faith in Sexual Assault Chan anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> like... Whip's gonna beat the shit out of her, um, and she'll probably like it. She looks like she's got like a little mmm face on. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm really well. Remember when um, Quam bit her stomach? Speaking of Quam, where Quan rather? Where where's she at? It was the last time we saw her? She was like holding. She, she was like holding people off that were trying to chase them, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of people that could show up. Quan could show up. Yoru Asa could show up. There's a Yoshida lot of... could r- randomly Yoshida? run into it. Like, God damn it. <laughs> Yoshida could show up. There's a lot of players on the board right now. A lot of people on in play. So, Kishibe yeah. could do literally anything besides sipping on his flask I and fucking Kishibe, Tahiti. Kishibe's in the Bahamas right now, man. Kishibe's got his feet up. He's like drinking. He's drinking out of a pineapple right now. <laughs> My boy, I want you back. <laughs> he just, he, he's, he's taking his well-deserved vacation. <laughs> I dealt with I dealt with Makima for twenty some years. Let me rest in peace for a little bit. God it was damn. Awful. Yeah, I, I'm. Ex- I mean, inevitably he'll come back eventually, right? Like surely. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I gave you one job, Yoshida, and you couldn't even do that. <laughs> I leave for one month, and it all goes to shit. I knew it. <laughs> Time to be the best. Top of the verse ever. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. shit, Quan, you're here. God damn it, I'm not top of the verse, am I? <laughs> He's number two in the verse. <laughs> I, I want, uh, when when death comes back, that's when Kishibe's like, it's time. <laughs> time to show that I'm top of the verse by defeating death. Do you remember, um... I already, I already took out one, Horseman. I'll put you in another small child, too. You, yeah, I'll put you in a small child, yeah. Well, no, that technically wasn't... He, he should be helped, but, uh, Denji, you gotta eat death. <laughs> eat death. Not that that would work, because that was a very specific situation. But, um, do you remember the scene in... Have you seen Spy Kids 3D? God, it's been, video like, game? it's been, like... 15 years you remember the scene where he's like i'm the guy that's the guy and then he like walks forward and he's all triumphant like i'm the guy i'm gonna do it and then he walks forward and like dies immediately <laughs> that's that's what i'm ex- that's what that's what's gonna happen to kishi bay like death devil's like all right death devil's here and he's like top of the verse here we go and then he just gets killed immediately he just explodes <laughs> no <laughs> honestly given fujimoto's writing style is probably <laughs> Wow. I fucking hate it. I hate how accurate that is. Uh, uh, I think something else, I mean, we keep talking about, one last thing to talk about here, I think, is we keep talking about Denji having a rage moment, but uh, Nayuta probably should too, right? I mean, those are her dogs. Yeah, no, she's she's going to go fucking full crazy, and Denji's going to have to go chainsaw man to prevent her from going insane. That's I what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, the next couple chapters should be pretty fire. Um, yeah, uh, I'll cool. see you in two weeks and in a month. <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah, I guess it's every two weeks now. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, I mean, maybe we can find something to talk about. Uh, uh I got. I, we still need to do uh, look back, and we still need to do uh, probably some Sakamoto to fill in some content. Oh, it's just uh, the, the villains they were interested. They, they were adding when I was reading it did not interest me. What's the problem? Uh, like, dude, 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 dude. It's it's peak. I'll try to get it's back into peak. it. Now the the Don yeah. Don anime trailer looks looks fucking fire. I will say I, I like the look of that. I'm excited to. Watch could it. we bring Could we bring Don Don in? Well, I, I'll tell you, I'm definitely gonna watch the Don Don anime because that looks like something I might enjoy more as an anime. That's fair. Yeah. That's actually it's so 100%. silly, wacky. I just like if I'm gonna watch that, I'll just I'll, it'll be a visual treat. It'll be like eye candy for me. <laughs> It, it, it's visual crack. I I gotta say, as somebody that's caught up with Don Don, it is fucking phenomenal. It is batshit insane. If you want more I don't... visual crack, by the way, have you ever watched Enna? E N A? No. Oh, okay. So um, here, hold on. Uh, the uh, the reason I kept hearing about it, it's it's an indie animation. There's four of them on on YouTube right now. Uh, it's an indie animation, and the reason I heard about it is because the person who voices um Pomni in Amazing Digital Circus also voices this character. Okay. Here, so I was, and she kept, oh, she kept tweeting, um, uh, fan arts of Pomni with this girl because they're both like, they're both like digital, they're both like girls in a digital world. 
Okay. Here, here uh, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing because it's so it's so distinct. I'm guessing because like I'm guessing you'll have seen this design around. I have seen this design. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's uh, here. Um, if you want like straight visual crack, I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of. Okay. So these Anna, it, it's 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 kind of it's invoking like late '90s computer games, um, but like way more like whereas Amazing Digital Circus is trying to be that, Anna is actually animated in that style. Um, so like, do you know the, uh, do you remember the, uh, screensaver from back in the day on like w- when you're like an old computer where it would be like a, a brick maze and it would just be going through the maze. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that, but like on every drug, that's basically what these videos are. Okay. So you're talking about like a version of me in high school. Uh, <laughs> here, I'm going to send you my favorite one. It, it, it's. Don't try to like find plot or meaning. It is totally nonsensical. It, it's just, it, it, it's its product is a vibe. It's giving you a vibe. It, it, it's it's like, but it's just, it was like a car accident. I couldn't look away. <laughs> it's just, it's so interesting. Anyways, it, it's five minutes. Watch this one. Watch this one when we're done. Uh, the one okay. I'm sending him is Enna Extinction Party. By the way, I yeah. oh lovely. Um, you like look at I, that. I'll, see how it looks I'll watch that at some point today. It's uh, when that I have that one's only done. five minutes, and there's literally only four of them. There's 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 one that's two minutes. That one's five minutes. The longest one is seventeen minutes, and then he just put out a new one like a week ago. Um, that's nine minutes. You could watch okay. all of them in like less than an hour. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll find it like an hour today or tomorrow because those are my two days off. Uh to watch this and then i'll let you know what i think it's videos um, like this that make it so i don't this is why i don't need drugs because things like this exist <laughs> <laughs> i i wonder if this would be better on acid uh <laughs> i'm sure it would be <laughs> uh don't do drugs kids uh the, instead Vex watch is, enna <laughs> uh vex is two months sober from all substances other than nicotine and caffeine very uh proud, so very proud. what else were you doing were you smoking uh or drink? i guess drinking I, right Drinking and pot. That's hey man, it. I'm really proud of you. That's awesome that you're. That's um, good shit. I, well, I I started it because I had to be completely sober for my transfusion, and now you're I'm like doing Michael it despite just... my father. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome, man. Seriously, good shit. <laughs> good shit. Uh, I I don't think you don't need to like completely get off caffeine, but I, you should probably try to like lower your caffeine. I will after peak. <laughs> that's <laughs> fair enough. Peak. <laughs> all right. Uh, um... Right now, like sixty hour a week, because I need all the caffeine to keep me going. Cool. Uh, I can't wait to put this in the editing software and see if, uh, <laughs> see if the audio is ass or not. Oh, yeah. I, I pity your poor processor. I just um, don't know why OBS wants to be so weird. about like, like, cause it, it's, I, can, it's, I can almost guarantee it's probably your mic cable uh, tripping a little bit in the background there. Well, I'm willing to buy another another snowball or just like another mic cable once i have a job but i, I shouldn't until I yeah. have a job. <laughs> yeah no like stay off of the frivolous purchases till you oh, have yeah. stable employment um i um i sent tyler a mic for christmas because his just like fully died um like it should sounded like this he was video? coming through a tin <laughs> should we end uh, this video since we're just talking uh, <laughs> yeah so like i i i'm curious like if any of our predictions will come true in two weeks, uh, given Fujimoto, I highly doubt it. But until then, Vex I, over I there gotta... is letting the fucking dementia kick in. He's like, "Are we still I, filming? Where I, am I?" I gotta, <laughs> I gotta literally end this call and get into the other call because I just got DM. So peace, right. peace out, everybody.